Let's unlock the speed on my Xiaomi 5 Max. Parts, apps, and hack credits all down in the description. For the 5 Max, a 5 pin M7 Joulet mail cable is required. Use a multimeter to trace which wire color connects to the ground, receive, and transmit pins on the connector. In my case, ground is yellow, transmit is green, and receive is white. Keep in mind, wire colors may vary. What matters is that the pins connect to the corresponding functions on your USB adapter. You can solder the wires directly to your USB adapter, or like I did, solder a connector instead. The flux I'm using helps make soldering easier, but it's not required. Unfortunately, I didn't have the same color wires, so from this point on, the color scheme is different. Doing a final continuity check. Don't forget to wrap those wires with duct tape before connecting, just to be safe. Connect the adapter to your PC, open device manager and install the appropriate drivers. Make sure to install the drivers specific to the adapter you're using. In my case, it's a CP2102. download the app that will be used to flash the modified firmware. Unfortunately, this application doesn't work properly with the CP2102 adapter and will show an error. If you're using a CP2102, download the modified version of the app from the video description. It's the same app, just adjusted to support the CP2102. Thanks for the original app goes to Turbojet from the Scooter team on GitHub. Special thanks to user Tesla from the Scooter Hacking Telegram group for creating the patched version. Okay, so next let's download the MCU firmware for your specific scooter model. Go to the firmware patcher, choose your scooter model, and modify the previously downloaded MCU firmware based on the speed you want to achieve in a specific drive mode. Download the patched firmware file, then flash it to your scooter using the flashing application. Mm -hmm. 
make sure the selected COM port in the application matches the one used by your adapter. You can check the adapter's COM port in Device Manager. Pick the patched firmware, then hook up the scooter to the adapter. Turn on the scooter and, while it's powered on, disconnect the dashboard wire. Then connect your adapter to the connector that leads to the scooter base. Test communication with the scooter. If it responds, you can proceed with the flashing process. In my case, I'm getting the mentioned error, so I'll switch to the modified application. If you're using a different type of adapter, your flashing process should complete successfully. The flashing process normally takes a few minutes. What you are seeing here is a fast-forward video. After receiving the confirmation message that flashing is complete, unplug the adapter and reconnect your dashboard to the scooter cable. All done, your scooter is flashed. It starts beeping over 30 km per hour. You can either desolder the buzzer, which is located in the dashboard, or simply cover it with tape to silence it, or leave max speed below 30 km per hour. Thanks for watching, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.